Hello, I am Lisa Marie Benz, your host, and this is the Perfect Wedding Guys Internet TV show called Bridal Whispers. The purpose of this show is to connect brides with our advertisers so they can see exactly what our advertisers do. And by the way, brides, to be sure to check out our website at perfectweddingguide.com and you can pre-register for all of our upcoming bridal shows by logging on to pwgshows.com. Brides, you can also build your own wedding website at perfectweddingguide.com and then click on planning tools and build away and create your own wedding web page too, which is the biggest thing, brides, so definitely get on that. So I'm here at the House of Sea and Sun, located at 2B Street on St. Augustine Beach, and the number is 904-461-1716. For more information, check out houseofcnsun.com. I'm here at the House of Sea and Sun, located at 2 Beach Street in St. Augustine Beach. Beautiful St. Augustine Beach, I might add. The phone number here is 904-461-1716. To see more of this beautiful historical home, go to houseofcnsun.com. And I'm sitting here with Patty Stater. She's the owner of the House of Sea and Sons. Welcome to the show, Patty. Thank you, Lisa. So can you tell us a little bit of the history of the House of Sea and Sun here? Well, it was built approximately in 1914 by Henry Flagler's niece or daughter, whichever story you choose to believe. Um, at least that's the first record I could find of the house. And uh, it was owned by uh, Louise for quite a few years, and then she died in 1937. She was only 41. Um, then it was owned by Mr. Gillespie for about 40 years and he really didn't do anything to the house so it was in pretty rough shape and then the two owners well Stetson University he gave it to Stetson University um, and they named a um, um, one of their big uh, rooms after him at Stetson University Gillespie Museum uh, for rock collection gyms and rocks and um, then two other people bought it before I bought it they bought it from Stetson and uh, they just realized it was too big a project for them so that's when I came in and really renovated it how many guests can you accommodate for a wedding we've had weddings up to 165 people here it's generally in a tent on the in the out in the yard right by the ocean their weddings are usually held on the ocean, ocean on the beach, and then the uh, reception is held here up in the yard, or we can accommodate about 50 or 60 in the house. Um, when brides have picked this place for a wedding, they um, take it for three days, so it's exclusive to them for three days. So it's sort of like a family reunion or a classmates, you know, friends that, that get together. So it, it makes a nice venue for that. Mm -hmm. Do you have preferred vendors you recommend for in the area for brides? Uh, we do have some vendors that we recommend. Um, we have our own officiant here. Uh, we do our own catering. Um, but we do, we do have um, people that we work with on a, on a regular basis photographers and, and whatnot. How many rooms do you have that you can accommodate a bridal party with? We have 12 rooms, excuse me, we have six rooms in the house which will accommodate 12 people and then we have access to three um, apartments that will accommodate four in each one. Patty, I'm sure lots of brides prefer to have a beach ceremony. Are there any restrictions to getting married on this beach? Uh, there are restrictions on the beach for having weddings um, but I'm, I own the riparian rights to the beach, so I have no restrictions here at the House of Sea and Sun. What kind of nightlife does this area provide for brides and grooms? Uh, we have a lot of nice restaurants around here. We have a lot of restaurants with bands and dancing. Um, there is, um, and a, and a lot of people do go into town from time to time, you know, and, and party in town. But generally, they like to hang out here on the beach. Like, I have a bonfire on the beach, do the beach thing. Last but not least, do you have any resident ghosts here at the House of Sea and Sun you can tell us about? Some stories? 
<laughs> Should have known you were going to ask that, Lisa. Uh, yes, we do have we do have ghosts from time to time. They they like to play pranks. Um, two guests were locked out of their room about a month ago by a deadbolt, and they had to take we had to take the whole door frame off to to let them back in. They uh, turn water on. Um, they turn lights on and off. They uh, they move things from time to time, but but they're really very friendly. If you can call a ghost friendly. Do do you guys ever see any visions like uh, you yes. know the uh, misty air or something? Yes. We see visions. Yes, uh, several people. One night we were having a dinner party, and. Um, Somebody came to me and they said, do you have a guest that's staying upstairs, a man, a tall man? I said, no. And um, he said, well, he just walked from the living room into the family, into the eating area. And I said, no. He says, I can't find him either. So they checked every room in the house, every closet, under every bed and everything. And then later, somebody else reported exactly the same thing, that, that she, she had seen him walk in here. So we do have visions, um, you know, but... Who knows? So thank you, Patty, for inviting us into your beautiful home here. And thank you, Misty May, for having us. You can come see the resident dog. And remember, brides, this is the House of Sea and Sun, located at 2B Street in St. Augustine Beach. And the number is 904-461-1716. And definitely check out the houseofseaandsun.com. And definitely come here for a unique bridal experience. And make it a great day and happy planning.